in this video guys I want to talk about the behind the back spin. This is one of our sword spins, it's actually really useful to learn. Perhaps you'd like to learn, or maybe you've bought a sword and you don't want it to just be a wall hanger, then I strongly recommend learning some of these skills because um, uh, it makes you look a bit more kind of imposing to your opponent. Number three, it's for safety. So by learning some of these skills, we're learning the situational and spatial awareness of where your sword is at any given time and where your sword is in relation to your hand. So you don't need to think about it too much. It simply becomes an instinctive movement. Alrighty guys, before we get into training today, I'd just like to add a couple of points that are really important. Number one, always train with a proper training sword or training weapon. Okay, so uh, please don't train with a live blade such as a sharp sword or an axe or something like that it's only going to end in disaster this is a cold steel medieval training sword and it, not only does it perform like a real sword but it looks really good but it's safe to train with and you are going to injure yourself if you do train with a, a live blade whilst doing this kind of thing you may also notice that um, some of these sword skills are different depending on the different type of sword you're using. So perhaps you're using a katana, maybe you're using a, a one and a half handed sword, that kind of thing. It is going to be slightly different depending on the type of sword you're using. So why would you want to learn some of these skills? Well, they look awesome. They really do. And when you start to interplay some of these very basic skills, and some of the more advanced skills, then you can really sort of see how good they look. Number two, if for those of you who are into medieval reenactment, uh, g'day guys, today I wanted to talk about the behind the back spin. So it's a really useful skill to have. I think these sorts of um, sword spins are really useful because it gives you that kind of spatial and situational awareness of where the sword is in proximity to where you are and therefore makes sword skill and sword craft actually a whole lot safer. So, behind the backspin, before we get into it, I just want to mention that there is a myth going around at the moment that you use the sword behind the back like this. This is actually not true. So, our start position pretty much like so, feet shoulder width apart, and just a nice gentle open stance with the sword pointing up, just like so. So the first part of the um, the first part of the sword spin is just to drop the sword down. So we're just going to do that a few times just to loosen up uh, wrist and shoulder muscles. So when we're dropping down, the tip of the sword wants to go in just behind your calf, and the pommel wants to be just in front of your wrist on the outside. Step two, we're going to raise the sword into a 90 degrees essentially from the ground. So start position, drop and then raise, drop, raise, drop, raise, just like so really. Then what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate the reverse spin that we've talked about before. So drop, raise, reverse spin. Now when we do the reverse spin, we keep control of the sword with our thumb and forefinger and we loosen the grip with our bottom three fingers. Okay, so drop, raise, spin. Drop, 
raise, spin. Bear in mind, obviously, where the sword is at all times. Drop, raise, spin. Drop, raise, spin. And your finish position is pretty much back to the start position. So, so drop, raise, reverse spin. Drop, raise, reverse spin. Drop, raise, reverse spin. There we go, guys. Nice and simple. That's the behind, behind the back spin from Star Wars with a medieval sword, but it looks really cool. And it's one of those little skills that we can incorporate into lots of what we're doing. As you get uh, faster with it, as you get more competent, as you do it a bit more often, then it will look even better. And, um, and there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.